So I thought I'd post a quick review as I just purchased uh, this one. So this is the Galaxy's Edge version of my favourite lightsaber hilt. Um, now living in Australia it's a bit harder to get people to get them and generally they cost a lot more. Um, so this is an EFX. You can see how different this is to all of them. This is what the lightsaber looked like in the movies, um, as it says there. Uh, so this is perfectly screen accurate. And you'll notice that there's a white but slightly red crystal there. Now, the biggest difference between these, this is a, a Force FX a Black Series, current one. You'll notice this one has a blue crystal in it. Uh, it also has a bit of a, I don't know, can't even really tell, um, unless I go really close to it. Yeah, there's a tiny dead zone from a uh, bit of a jewel we had at my partner's work. Super responsive, um, or, well, mostly responsive, and um, generally this was the first one I got, and uh, I've really loved it. Um, and then I got this EFX. Um, which I really love because this actually feels like what you would imagine holding a lightsaber would feel like. And the thing is, there's no electronics in it. Uh, it's just perfectly weighted and I, I just really love these grooves and how smooth the material on this is. Now, as I showed off here with the blue crystal and the uh, white with a slightly reddish tint, on the Galaxy's Edge, you have a full red. So, three completely different crystals. Um, yeah, they've got the cap in the end, um, and you take that out, and what can you see in the... Yeah, but then it's got like all the Disney stuff around here. Um, this is sort of like in between the two, so um, you'll notice that this one has like no grading to it, this one has slight grading, and then this one's got the complete sort of thing. So this one's in between. This is definitely a step up from that in terms of uh, actual build quality. Uh, this is more like that, but then if you want to look at something, there's pros and cons to all three. So the pros are this, basically. This feels the most like a lightsaber, should feel. This one uh, feels probably the least, but still feels quite great. Now, this one doesn't have flash on clash, whereas this one, um, I'll do a quick comparison. This is the blade that I got with my uh, Savvy's Elemental Nature over here. Which, um, if you wanted to know, <laughs> to get one of them brought into Australia cost me about 650 Australian dollars. Um, so that kind of sucked. Okay, so this is the Savvy's Blade. Hey Google, turn off the bedroom light. Oh, hang on. Hey Google. Oh, there we go. Uh, so this is with the Savvy's Blade, isn't it? You'll notice it sort of stutters up. Same with this one, this is the Galaxy's Edge. Uh, not the Galaxy's Edge, this is the, um... That is the Force FX. Uh, so that's the Savvy's Blade. Um, this blade's slightly darker, that one's a bit brighter, so the um, Force FX's are a bit brighter. Could just be the batteries though, I haven't put new batteries in the uh, Galaxy's Edge one because I only just got it today and now I'll try the Galaxy's Edge one with the 36 inch blade <clears throat> and I'll also show you one other thing that a lot of people haven't really pointed out about the okay here we go yeah see this is a darker blue darker shade of blue which isn't I'm not complaining about it especially not with that flash on clash um, so let's see if you can see it ah uh, there we go Every single one of the blades from Savvy's, you can see inside the tip of. I find that to be a major downside because if you look at this, nothing. This is the uh, Force FX and they've always been really good for that. Um, and when you're playing with these on film, like recording it, it actually looks like you're holding a lightsaber for the good part. So just a few quick pros and cons. Um, I really love that flash on flash, even if it is slightly delayed. Um, hey Google, turn on the bedroom light. And the other thing that I will say, um, there, the other differences that were noticeable were, so obviously nothing on that one because it's an EFX. That one, which is the Force FX, has 
sort of dots in there and that's hollow so you could actually stuff things in there um, and then this one not as much it's got a completely different sort of speaker to it um yeah all three are great i regret nothing i'm very happy with them um and yeah that's just sort of my quick pointers on those if anyone has any questions um just shoot me a thing i'm happy to answer as best as i can but other than that that's that cheers